Hey, what's up guys? This is a flashing guide for Team Android Jelly Bean. I don't know why I just put on that accent, but anyway. Right, this is the Samsung Galaxy S1 i9000. And this is a port um, from the Galaxy Nexus, just like on the Samsung Galaxy S3, which is over here. Um, and this is the Galaxy S1, which has got a Jelly Bean port. Uh, that sounds so bad. Um, basically, there was a problem uh, with booting up the ROM, and that was due to an encryption, but now that's fixed, uh, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, was kernel related. Pretty much everything doesn't work, um, apart from it actually booting up, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and flash it anyway. Uh, here's to show that it's in my internal SD card. As you can see, it's Jelly Bean. I'll read it out completely. Jelly Bean M K A L T E R V 0.1. So that's in my internal SD card, and I'm gonna go into recovery. So obviously you have to be rooted and have to have Clockwork uh, Recovery um, installed. And um, I would suggest doing a full backup. Um, so do an Android backup of your phone. Um, make sure you've done a backup, Titanium backup, and then saved it on your PC just in case. You know your internal SD card. If any, if if anything happens, you've got a, a full backup of everything, contacts, SMS, and whatnot. Just make sure you've backed up everything that you can possibly can. So what we're going to do is first a factory data, uh, factory data reset. That didn't work, right? There we go. Then we're going to wipe the cache. Then we're going to go advanced and wipe the Dalvik cache. Right. Then we're going to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and jelly bean. There it is. Flash it over. It is recommended in the XDA post to wipe after this process as well. Um, so I'll, I'll go ahead and do exactly as uh, it's said in uh, on XDA. However, personally, I don't really feel the need to wipe after I've installed a ROM, but I'll do it regardless because um, I, I trust the developers' uh, decisions and respect them. So we'll go ahead with that. Um, so shouldn't take too long. The file isn't too big. So this would be Jelly Bean on the Galaxy S i9000. It's quite funny how we've got it on the Galaxy S3 and the i9000. Um, <laughs> whereas the S2 has been pretty much left out by both Samsung and uh, <laughs> developers. Uh, but it's good that we haven't seen a, a dropping of development of the, um, the S1. I find that quite cool. So right, so now we're going to repeat the same step, which was factory data reset. Then wipe the cache. Then go in advanced, wipe the Dalvik cache. And then we're also going to fix permissions. There we go. And now we can reboot. So, go powered by semaphore. There have been quite a few developers which are working on the um, on the uh, the Jelly Bean port, which is quite nice. It's really nice to see the XDA um, community get together with all different developers from all different. Uh, they bring all their knowledge uh, together and uh, bring it together to make um, make this possible. So it's really cool of them to uh, to do that. Basically teaming up. So I hope they uh, they all work together and whatnot to uh, make this um, ROM work well and um, run uh, stable on a stable ROM but uh, that'll be a while so um, if you're if you're flashing this over now bear in mind it won't work as, as a phone basically I, I don't even think the phone works um, let alone everything else so just this is just to show you guys that it is possible um, but um, 
obviously with future developments you'd probably come to a stage and say oh, I'm guessing in around a month we'll have a fully operational Jelly Bean ROM on both the Galaxy S3 and Galaxy S1 and I think the code is also being um, released uh, for the Galaxy S3 and that will make it easier for developers to port it over to the other devices like the Galaxy S2 and the Galaxy S1 uh, over here um, to make it a nice, nice ROM. So here we go it is booting up, might take some time as you can see let's see if anything shows up, oh there we go okay and there we go, we're officially in Jelly Bean let's go system settings, oh is it going to get into system settings or, oh it does, okay you, you do get in there do you get, yep, yeah, there we go 4.1 Android, baseband unknown at the moment, as you can see it's got semaphore kernel in there. Let's see if the Easter egg works. Yes. Yeah, I got the jelly beans. Oh yeah, you gotta love the jelly beans. <laughs> so there you go. Um we've got the um we've got jelly bean working, well booting, shall I say, that's probably the better word to say um for that. But as you can see there's nothing there's nothing in a you, you mean a lot of things are missing uh, as you can see there's Wi-Fi which is missing there uh, sounds, no, nothing's, I, I mean I hardly doubt anything will it will work as you can see there's no notifications, no nothing phone ringtone um, I mean no, nothing, nothing should work and I don't expect anything to work put it that way but uh, it is pretty cool that uh, we've got a um, We've got a, a Jelly Bean port on the i9000. I mean, this poor little phone is about, God, it's about two years old now, I think, um, and it's still not died, which is brilliant. Um, I love, I love it that developers haven't given up on um, on the phone, um, and they're constantly developing on it. So it's it's really nice. So uh, that's quite cool. Let's go into phone. Cool. Uh, let's see if I, I highly doubt this will work as well, but yeah, obviously not. So, uh, and the camera, I guess, won't work either. Yep. I've got a nice little red line out there. <laughs> so you can see there's a lot of things not working. Um, so, yeah. That's how it looks like. It's pretty cool. Bam. Right, so I hope you've enjoyed this little guide uh, slash uh, the possibility of Jelly Bean being on the i9000. Obviously, if there's any developments, I'll post them on my website. And um, if there's actually a proper ROM which actually works, as in if if there's uh, if there's things if features I can actually show you that uh, will be cool, um, then I shall show you. Um, uh, I'll make some videos on that. Uh, but the cool thing is the widgets work. As you can see, I'm playing with a camera app, and uh, obviously the camera app is winning at the moment. But I will get my revenge on it. So, uh, as you can see, look at that. So that's pretty cool. Right. I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Um, totally dubbed, and do check my website and give credit to the developers and give them a thumbs up on XDA. If you're not signed up, then uh, happy trolling, basically. Right. Take care, guys. Bye bye.